Hey guys, it's Jesus here, and today I'm going to be doing another garage video as I now have 30 vehicles. So first of all, I am in my uh, cruise car type garage um, with a bike. And yeah, so firstly we have the Carbon is there. I've had this car for ages, it is a sick convertible, and I would recommend it to anyone. Here we have the Fetzler, this car is sick for drifting, it is especially good for like the Blaine County type areas. It's just a really fun car to drive. Here we have the Chino, this is one of the new... Uh, I don't know if it's classed as a muscle car, but new type classic car. It is really fun to drive and it looks sick in any colour. Here we have the JB700, also known as like the James Bond type vehicle, um, Aston Martin, and it is pretty sick. This car is quite old now, but it's still really fun to drive. Here we have the Z-type. Um, no one really drives this anymore, so I decided to buy one again. And yeah. Here we have the... Uh, the Windsor, also like well, it's basically the Beetle in real life. And what I like about this is you can have cool patterns on it, which you can't really do with any other cars, and it looks really sick. There's loads of patterns, and you can also change the color. Here we have the Glendale. Um, the Glendale is one of my favorite cruise cars. It's sick for anything. Um, yeah. Here we have the Massacro. I think it's called. It is just like a race car. I've had this car for ages. No one really drives this either, to be fair. But yeah. Here we have the Blackfin. This is one of the new cars as well. It is really, really sick. It looks cool. Um, I believe you can also put a roof on it or you can take it off, but it's not convertible. Here we have the Electro. I don't think I've actually upgraded this bike yet. I've actually just bought it, but it. I guess it's pretty cool. So, okay, guys. So I'm now in my like supercar type garage, and um, starting with is the Zantorno. I've literally just rebought it because I sold it in the past, so it's not upgraded or anything. But it is still a pretty sick car, not my favourite, but it's pretty cool. I might have upgraded it actually, I can't remember. <laughs> Here we have the NCD XF. I used to have it, I sold it, and I bought it again because I missed it. But I've gone for like a silvery effect, which looks really cool. Here we have the Osiris, I think it's called. I upgraded this in a earlier video. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. Um, I think it's the new fastest car in the game, along with the... That car over there, which I forgot what it's called, it's the McLaren P1 type car. And yeah. Here we have the Cheetah. I also didn't used to have this, but I rebought it. I don't know why I got it in gold, it doesn't really look that cool in gold. But it is just a really cool car to drive. Here we have the Adder, the big guy we are in real life. Pretty much everyone knows this car, so there's not much to say about it. Here we have the Turismo R. This is not really a super car, but I needed to fill this garage up, and I also haven't done anything to it yet, so. Here we have the Cabrio, which I believe is a convertible and looks pretty sick in every colour. Um, I decided to rebuy it because I had this when the game first came out and I really just wanted to drive it again. Here we have the Jester, like the race car version with like the older vinyls and stuff on it. Not much to say about that, it's really basically just the Jester with vinyls. Uh, the same with the Massacro, I had it in my old garage. Once again, these aren't really supercars. Just, I need just somewhere to put them. And it's basically just the same with vinyls. And here we have the T20, that's what it's called. I think the T20 and the Aerosis are the two new fastest cars in the game. Okay, finally we have reached my random ass, vill um, random ass village, random ass garage. Um, I don't know why my bat is in here. That should really go in my like, super vehicle garage. But whatever, the bat is the fastest bike in the game, I think. Here we have the Brawler. I haven't actually upgraded yet. I literally recently bought it. And it looks really cool, it's part of the new update, and I can't actually wait to drive that. Here we have the Karuma Armoured. I also haven't done anything to this, as you can tell by the, the stupid colours. Um, it is off one of the highs you do, and you unlock it through the highs, I believe. Here's the Barado Paradise. This van just looks sick, I love the shark thing on it. I don't even think I've upgraded this either, but I have drove it around, and it's just super fun to drive. Here we have the Sand King, I've had this game since basically the game came out, I think this was my first garage and it's still the exact same one, besides I put like the back thing on it, I don't know why I might take it off again, but it's pretty cool. Here we have the Insurgent, also one of the highest vehicles. You can also get the like the Gunner one, which goes to Pegasus, which I also have, but either way, they're, they're, they're really cool. Here we have the Baller, not much to say about this, it's a sick car to look chill in I guess or just go online and piss around in pretending to be the mafia as I've done previously. Here we have the Delente. Um basically it's a piss around car. Not much to say about that. 
here we have the Panto. I bought this when it first came, or well, the Panto first was released. It's just a super funny car to drive. And yeah. Finally, we have the Enduro, which I'm probably going to get rid of because I haven't drove this since I bought it. I might replace it with a Faggy or something because why not? So, yeah, there are my uh, three garages with 30 vehicles. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and goodbye. Yeah!